can make it. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. And in this atmosphere, I bring to you one of our own. One of our own. No other than Dr. Dalbert Clark. Coming out of the body. Came out. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lift your hands. Way up in the air. Wherever you are, lift those hands if you can. If you're not satisfied, lift your hands, lift your feet too, for he deserves everything. And the Bible said, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. His name alone is worthy to be praised. From the uprising of the sun and to the very going down of the very same, the Lord's name is worthy. I say his saving name. In Hebrews, it's Yeshua. In English, it's Jesus. In Spanish, it's Jesus. That's the name, that is the highest name in heaven, the highest name in hell, the highest name on earth, the highest name known in the hemisphere of the existence of eternity and time. Lift your hands again and call that name out of your belly. Call that name like it is the highest and most powerful blood soaked name lift that name high he is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same slip your hand in somebody else's hands and greet them right now tell them you're in the right place at the right time for your miracle You do it like you, you did it like you're fearful. Come on, talk to somebody, tell you're in the right place, at the right time, for your miracle. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated for a while. Praise God. And if you have to work for your blessings when you come to church, don't complain about it. For God will never bless anything that is lazy. And sometimes the preacher asks you to stand and you're here complaining. But remember that the preacher is standing too. Praise the name of the Lord. So right in this beautiful atmosphere, we want to again welcome the Holy Ghost in the Apostolic Ark headquarters. Praise the name of the Lord. I salute your honor shepherd, the angel, apostle, and bishop, and senior leader of this great congregation, Bishop G.W. Dr. Jeffrey Johnson. Put your hands together and bless the Lord for him and his beautiful wife of many years with him in Pentecost a mother of Pentecost across Jamaica and other parts of the world. We bless God for these two people tonight. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. If you're a bad mind, drop dead. But I have to tell the truth. 
Praise the name of the Lord. These two persons, they are icons of Pentecost. And we need to celebrate. We're not worshiping them. We're celebrating for their lives and deeds and works in their apostolic movement. Praise the name of the Lord. Coming out of the United States and all across Jamaica, there are so many representatives here tonight. We bless God for them. Bishop uh, Rankin F. Clark, God bless you, sir. E.J. Ferguson out of England, my own blood family, bless God for her. Praise the name of the Lord. Glad to see you, Reverend V.B. It's a long time. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, and he produced such a beautiful daughter. She's singing the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together for Reverend V.B. Praise the name of of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Brian and his wife, they're in the house. They were baptized and married in the Cayman Islands. Such a thrill to see you. Praise the name of the Lord. Put your hands together for them. Amen. Honor the leadership of the apostle. Amen. Praise God. To all the uh, bishops and, and overseers and, uh, and pastors and uh, evangelists and uh, secretarial uh, representative, not to mention the secretary of the apostolic art, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, and his, his sister Carol, put your hands together for her. Praise God. I salute all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beautiful choir. Come on, clap your hands and bless God for this choir. My God, I see a little bit of glimpse of what will happen when we join a bigger choir in heaven. Come on, put your hands together for them. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. The Johnson's family, put your hands together for them. Sons and daughters, my God, my God, my God. All the musicians and technicians and multimedia personnel, amen. I salute you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for those who have tuned in, maybe by way of streaming or by some form of internet uh, uh, magic, you have tuned in to this service tonight. Uh, yes, we're coming to you from Brownstown. This is the Apostolic Art, the lighthouse of uh, uh, this region and to the entire Jamaica. I'm glad you were able to tune in. You're driving out this time. I'd like to ask you, lower on the soft shoulder. If you're cooking lower the fire flame, maybe you're busy around the computer. Kindly pause for a while. I have no doubt that as we celebrate 100 years of apostolicism in Brownstown, Jamaica, West Indies, that there is a word from the mind of God for your situation. You're locked up in jail. You have a red marriage. You, you're about to kill yourself. I'm here to remind you that it's not over until God says it's over. So there is a word for you. You're locked up in the gun court. You're serving life sentence and you think it's the last. God has a word that can pull you out of this situation. So hold on for a while and believe the Lord. And I believe that God's going to give somebody a miracle. Somebody lift your voice and give the Lord a praise. Somebody lift your voice and give the Lord a praise. My God, I bring you greetings from the beautiful Cayman Islands. You have your Bibles? Stand with me please and let's read a few verses of scripture from the book of Acts. Acts of the Holy Ghost through the Apostles. Acts chapter 2. Praise the name of the Lord. Acts chapter 2. Just a few verses. Let's go from verse 1 and stop at verse 4. I'd like to ask everyone to stand in reverence if nothing is wrong with your legs. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Let's just read from uh, verse 1. If you find it, say amen. amen. If you're still looking, say wait a minute. Praise God. Let's read together in concern. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all 
with one accord in one place. I didn't hear the voice of the folks. Verse 2, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them twelve tongues like as a fire. And it sat, everybody say sat. And it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and the God to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Point your hand in this direction and said, Lord, give me a word. The Apostle Paul was the best pulpitarian, the best theologian, but he begged the people every time he would stand, he said, pray for me that I should might be given. Pray right now, Father, we thank you so much uh, to know that you're in this house, uh, to know your presence is in this place. Uh, the sick will be healed. Uh, the blinded eyes will be opened up. Uh, the deaf will hear again. The dead will be raised to life. Uh, the crippled will walk uh, because you've got the power. Release your blood in the atmosphere again. The blood that came from the center of your heart by the centurion spare. Father, we bless your name. Clap your hands and give God praise. Clap your hands and give God praise. Something special must have been happening in this house for Reverend E.J. Ferguson and a team from London, England, and for all these elders across the United States and Canada uh, to be gathered here in Brownstown. Something must have been happening. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I declare to myself, in spite of my busy uh, held down like a rolling stone, that this uh, celebration could not pass, and I will taste a little bit of it. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And I am so glad to know that I am here tonight to uh, celebrate with the apostolic ark of Brownstown, Jamaica, 100 years of the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, where men and women receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I can recall, I learned it because I was a young boy working in Brownstone and worshiping across the road at the top church. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And I can recall that when Elder Lee, the man that God placed the anointing on to carry the gospel, when he passed on, a young evangelist, oh, bless the name of the Lord, Evangelist Johnson, now Bishop Apostle. Dr. Jeffrey Johnson, he took the mantle from Elder Lee, oh praise the name of the Lord, and have carried the gospel to Canada, the United States, to England, and all across the Caribbean. Come on, lift God up for 100 years of circulating the gospel across the island of Jamaica. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. What does the future hold in store for mankind? What do all the events we see in the news really mean? Something is about to happen. These questions and many more like them are on many people's minds. Consider just a few challenges the world is facing right now. We need a repetition of Pentecost, a repetition of the whole pouring of the Holy Ghost. And I want to say to those of you that are here under the sound of my voice, if you did receive the Holy Ghost some years ago, don't leave this house tonight without a second portion, a double portion. I don't know who I'm talking to. I remember when I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in Cedar Valley, St. and Jamaica. I went home speaking in tongues. My clothes was all over with red dirt. I don't hear the folks. And when I got back home, they told me that you're going to have to tarry again. For 
for the refill of the Holy Ghost. I can't bear to see people receive the Holy Ghost. And after that, they just come to church looking like a stooge. No fire is left. Come on, somebody. They told me I have to tarry again. And I can tell you, when I got the baptism of the Holy Ghost that night, I spoke in other tongues. But when I went and re tarry, and I got that double portion, I fell out. You need a double portion. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So with the many things that are happening around us, Elder Johnson Jr., we need more Holy Ghost. We need more power. We need, we don't have much long here. We're going to have to wake up to apostolic power. Rise up and let the devil know that Jesus is still alive. Come on, somebody. We're talking about Pentecost tonight. Pentecost is power. Pentecost comes with fire. Pentecost comes with miracle. I don't know who I'm talking to. Wake up, tell somebody to wake up. Touch your name and tell them, wake up. The church is about to move. You don't hear what I'm saying. I said the church is about to leave. It's not time for us to sit down and play games. Come on, somebody. There is a cosmic battle right now raging. And it's a fight to the death with no holes barred. Ephesians 6 tell us we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the ruler of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, the church, somebody said the church. I'm not talking about the churches. I'm talking about the one God, tongue-talking, Jesus' name, church, the ecclesia. Therefore, the church uh, is not a cruise ship uh, with the pastor uh, as the master of ceremony. Uh, indeed, it is not uh, a showboat, uh, but it is a battleship. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, we are called to see Satan's uh, stronghold crumble uh, under the power of the artillery. Uh, sit back up and relax up, but to stand up, up and fight up. look at somebody and tell them up, you are authorized up, to fight back up. you are authorized up, to go forward up. I heard the bishop say up, forward still up, tis Jehovah's will up, though the billow up, dashed and spray up with a conquering thread up we will push ahead up and roll up the sea away i know you're saying we're tired now but you can't allow mr tiredness to sign contract with you right now you're gonna have to tell mr tired i'm on the battlefield I am an apostolic filled with the Holy Ghost baptized in Jesus name come on somebody David said the Lord is my strength I don't hear the folks the Lord is your strength I don't hear the folks then if the Lord is your strength you can't get tired I looked at the apostle on the floor, dropping some legs, uh, dancing in the Holy Ghost, uh, while 16 year old uh, can't clap their hand. Uh, come on, uh, Holy Ghost, uh, 
Holy Ghost brings power to the body of Christ as we celebrate tonight. I want to let you know I'm talking about the repetition of Pentecost. Come on, somebody. The Bible said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there were all on one accord in one place. And suddenly, look at somebody and tell them we are together. We're not going to lose this battle. Oh, God. If you are sick, you're going to be healed. If you're down, you're going to rise. If you're a cripple, you're going to walk. I don't hear the folks. The Pentecostal fire is still burning. Somebody, release your faith right now. Release your faith. God Almighty, the Bible said, if your faith is like a grain of mustard seed, you shall speak to the mountain, mountain of sickness, depression, oppression, regression. Come on, somebody, poverty, financial embarrassment. You're going to speak right now to all your mountain and say, move. Mountain move. Pentecost comes with power. Pentecost comes with faith. Look at somebody and ask them, where is your faith in God? You said it right, Reverend VP. We're not looking for black smoke. We're looking for fire. Come on, somebody. The Pope of Rome, they can look for the black smoke. But we're looking for fire. For when the Holy Ghost is come. Glory to God. Look at someone and tell them, your faith is important in this battle. You get nothing from God when your faith is sleeping. The highest attainment in Christianity is faith. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall come out of your situation afflicted in your body. is the breathing ground for miracle. Did you hear what I said? I said the spirit of expectancy is the breathing ground for miracle. So if you didn't come expecting God to do the extraordinary tonight, you're going to sit down until you're tired. Empty you come, empty you go back. Come on somebody. But if you to heal your body, to open the third heaven and shut down the hell. Then begin to praise God for it right now. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on. If you are sitting beside somebody that is dead and cold, excuse me. Get up, change your seat. apostolate backslider sign contract with the devil and they will hold you back but tell somebody right now it's celebration time it's celebration time and after tonight after this week of celebration my God Almighty devil it's not gonna be the same with my money, with my health, with my marriage, it's not going to be 
Come on, somebody. The Bible said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all on one accord in one place. Come on, they were thinking the same thing. They were thinking miracle, signs, and wonders. They were thinking deliverance. Therefore, no malice keeper was in the group. I don't hear the folks. No doubter was in the group. Come on, somebody. Doubt and fear cannot reign where God is doing miracles. For the doubters, when Jesus got ready to heal the sick, he showed them the side door. So if somebody is sitting beside you who is only religious but don't really believe in God, take up your Bible and make a switch. Change your seat. For one doubter in the house is good enough to handle the flow of the power of God. If they could hinder Jesus, who is God all by himself, that he had to send him through the door, then what about us? Grab somebody by the head and tell him right now, something good is about to happen. I'm walking in the power of Pentecost. I'm walking in my healing. Come on, somebody. Before the foundation of the world, according to Ephesians 1, 4 to 11, the Lord foreordained the redemption of men by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And he has a definite time scheduled for all his works. He is to send the Holy Ghost on this particular day of Pentecost, which followed Jesus' death and resurrection. Jesus had explained to Rabbi Nicodemus, a prime minister of Israel, that the new birth would be like the blowing wind or the breath of Almighty God. Come on, look at someone and tell them the wind is blowing again. Of your heart, a sound, the wind blowing on your ear, blowing in your spirit. Look at somebody in the back of the church and ask them, When last have you spoken in Holy Ghost tongues? When last have you felt the anointing of the Holy Ghost? Well, I believe as it were in the, on the day of Pentecost, so should it be. Down tonight, my God. Somebody lift your hands up, open your mouth, and shout, Wind of God, blow on me. Wind of God, blow on me. Somebody give the Lord a praise. My God, my God, my God. There is a shaking right now. There is a shaking. I said there is a shaking right now. My God Almighty. Ah, the number of 50 is used symbolically to represent liberty, freedom, our deliverance. 100 years of separation.
looks like dynamo. Come on, somebody. I heard the thunder today as I was downstairs. I felt the building shaking and the electricity going on and off. I said, my God Almighty, God is powerful. God is powerful. The lightning flashes. God just shifted the chair and the whole earth started to tremble. That's the power of God. You need to know the God you serve is an all wise God. The Lord gave the nation of Israel according to their count a calendar and the month of April became the first month and the Lord inter inter interpreted and interpenetrated the passing of the month with great religious feasts full of suggestiveness. The first was a feast of the Passover. Next in closed association was a feast of unleavened bread. Then the feast of first fruit. Then the feast of weeks. Come on somebody. That was 50 days from the feast of first fruit. Then the feast of trumpets. The next was a day of atonement. The last was the feast of tabernacle. Then we have the feast of celebration somebody get up right now and celebrate what God has done 2019 years ago but started in this region 100 years through elderly then Bishop G.W. Johnson come on somebody since that the deads were raised to life the blinded The cripple walk, the blind saw, the deaf heard. Can I talk to the church right now? Can such dry up? I don't hear the folks. For that's what Pentecost brings. It brings signs and wonders and miracles. Which 
were spoken of by the prophet Joel that in the last days said God I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh white flesh Jewish flesh Gentile flesh I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your young men would see vision your old men would dream dreams and upon my servant and upon my handmaid will I pour out my spirit in those days say the Lord somebody open your mouth and say spirit of the living God hallelujah fall afresh fall afresh Tonight, I need 
minds. I have one of these curses along with my Bible. Ketosha. Don't play with me now. Don't play with me now. I've gone into the dangerous parts of Africa where witch doctors and warlocks and cobras they exist. But when the Holy Ghost hit Otsuarango and hit Namibia, the guru send his messengers. Let the church of Holy Ghost. Let the church of Holy Ghost. Ella Johnson Jr., the guru in South Africa, send their witch doctors into the meeting. My God Almighty. But when the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lift. How you have the Holy Ghost and you got your knee out of your bed. You backslide and you don't know. Let the church of Holy Ghost run the battle. Open your mouth. Every witch doctor, every warlock, every gunman, every nightman, every sorcerer, every ugly man must be subject to the blood. Let the church say blood no man. Open your mouth, Reverend Vivi, and shout blood. Run the battle. Let the choir say the blood. Let the choir say the blood of Jesus. Let the church show fire. Let the church show holy wars. I looked over the auditorium. I'm talking about the repetition of Pentecost. For you are celebrating 100 years of Pentecostalism. Apostle Johnson, don't make no Baptist people come in this place. Oh God, no bad mind cold, religious, touch this fire lecture. Somebody said fire is up here. Raya Shatta, Kandaku. The Bible said the very shadow of the apostles heal the sick. I wonder how we have apostolic Christians and you have to be going to the doctor for a toenail. You double shake it. Your knee hurt you. That's why the medical doctors won't get sealed. I feel some God in here. Somebody hold me up. Somebody hold me up. Everything you want to the doctor. Where is Dr. Jesus? Let the church of Holy Ghost in my heart. Let the church of Holy Ghost. 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 Jesus. 
Jesus. Shout the blood of Jesus. Shout the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth. I feel the power of God in here now. Somebody's getting healed. Somebody's getting healed in the choir. Somebody's getting healed. Somebody's getting healed right now.
bell gonna ring as God lives it. Stand up over there. Shato. I see some God in here. Those you want to get married, you want a Christian partner, you've been waiting. Right over here. You run up there and get a man in God, and you sit down down there and stay single and free. I feel God in the house. Somebody shout the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Shout the blood. It's just two Sundays ago. I was preaching in the lectern in Cayman, in the Cayman pulpit, and they gave me a request to pray for one Mr. Gray in the United States. He had stroke in his bed, can't walk, not eating, not talking. While we were praying from the lectern, Mr. Gray in Florida started to talk and ask for food and start to move himself. Monday morning his daughter, his son and his son's wife and other folks were on the Cayman Islands coming off the plane to get baptized in Jesus' name. We baptized them in Jesus' name and send them back. But guess what? Before they took the plane, they dialed and what's up? Mr. Gray. And I looked at the man, the man was happy. Flushy talking. I don't hear the folks. Miracles when people believe. Come down, the rest of you come down here now. Some of you like the bishops, you might be. Your presence will be good down here. Come down here. Some of you like the evangelists. Everybody just walk down, walk down. Just come down in the Holy Ghost. And while you are coming down, you come down in Pentecostal power. Raya Shatta. Clearance for your house, clearance for your finance. Double portion of the Holy Ghost. Those of you sitting down, you're not used to this, but come and join us. We understand you're not used to it. But if you have to try it for the first time, come down. Clear the altar. Right, Demons are going to prostrate and flee. Raise 
Worship is a musician. Worship, worship. When the woman went down and was coming up, she said, I felt something move in my bed. When she went to the doctor, apostle, doctor said there was no choice of cancer.
is there. Who shall ever want to put war in the pool? War now. Just lift your hand and give God. 